Captain Cornos, your stealth ship is ready. What if I made a spaceship that has the ultimate camouflage? And no, I don't mean like the jet I made a few videos ago, but a camouflage that is so good that you can hide in plain sight. So I'm gonna get to building, then we'll test out the flying and all of its features, and then I will try and orbit around the asteroid vortex. So when it comes to building, it is extremely simple. We are just going for an asteroid, so nothing is going to be really all that, uh, well, difficult to get the shape right. We're really just trying to make a big ball. I think the uh, paint job that we're going for is really going to help this thing out the most. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's just keep building here. As you guys can see, I'm just building out as far as I can, but of course, as uh, not as sharp of an angle as you possibly can. I think that this is the only two by two by two wedge that I'm going to be using, but you never know. Um, I'm just gonna keep building, and you guys follow along if you wanna have a stealth uh, asteroid style of spaceship. Now let's get the smallest inverted corner that we can find, and basically just squeeze that in right there. And then do the same thing with another small little corner piece, just like that. So now we have a quarter of the entire sphere here. So basically what I'm going to be doing is copying and then flipping and then of course just making sure it's all connected and then copy it again but we are going to flip it so it is all nice and flush and that i think is the roundest object that you could probably get in trail makers besides using one of these guys or four of these guys but you get the point now let's add a nice fat chunky wedge right here a two by two wedge up here and another two by two wedge right there now same thing that we did with the entire sphere here or half of the sphere here. We're just going to copy and paste this all around so all sides are nice with that uh, kind of flat dimension of the uh, sphere. Now let's grab this entire left side here and basically just copy it. But we're gonna scoot it over just a couple blocks because we're gonna get this middle part here and essentially add some pistons. Now as you guys probably saw from that short that I made at the beginning of the video, uh, yeah, this thing folds out and there's guns that will be in the middle here. So anyways, let's add those pistons. You could set them to whatever speed that you want. I'm gonna have mine as fast as I possibly can. Um, and then you could also keybind it to whatever you want as well. But you know what, let me scoot these guys in the middle. Add a two by one somewhere here and here, just so this whole top half is holding on. And now it is time to move on for the seat. So let's go ahead and drop that down somewhere in there. Now let's add all all of our control surfaces so I'm going to put a gyro stabilizer there a gyro stabilizer somewhere in the side here as well that's looking good and then same thing on this side I have another gyro stabilizer but now that we have that let's go ahead and add a gyro in here so that we also have some tilt so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that one there and that one there. Also, sorry if it's very hard to follow along here. Um, it should be pretty simple, but I understand that uh, it is a little tight. Anyways, let's add another gyro so we have some leaning into our turning. Then we will add another gyro here, but we are gonna tilt this one on its side so we have like that good A and D yaw style of turning as well. But now that I'm looking at this, I see a lot of hazard signs here, and that is due to lack of connection pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add some here and, oh, Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I had to add one in the front. Now it is just time for some thrusters, and I'll probably chuck a quantum rudder somewhere in here. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I think it just makes it a little bit more stable. So we have these two in here. Now let's just go ahead and copy it over here. And then we'll also put some in the front right there. Now for the quantum rudder, I think I'm just going to take off all controls. Um, I'm just going to put it somewhere in the uh, top here. Now it is just time for the guns. So I'm just gonna go with some simple, uh, which ones are these? Smart cannons. And I'm thinking something right there and right there look the absolute best. All right, well now that that is all done, I'm basically just going to highlight the whole thing, paint it black and a little bit of that dark gray. And then I'm gonna do the high tech kind of uh, texture here. And you can see it looks just like one of the asteroids that are out there in space. So now that we're done building, let's go ahead and take off. Here we we go three two one 
Oh boy. Oh, we're leaning forward. Oh, this isn't good. Oh my gosh. Wow. Out here in space, it actually looks like it blends in so well. Okay, look at us next to this giant asteroid. This is crazy. It looks like the same exact texture. That is so cool. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, dude, that blends in so well. Okay, let's turn off the HUD and let's just take a look around here. So if I were to do F5, yes, clearly it's flying extremely fast also into that Chirpo's ship, but like, that is so hard to see. I would like kind of question what that is. It just, I mean, also it looks so fast, but that thing looks just like an asteroid, dude. That is crazy. Why am I going so fast? How fast are we going? 400 miles an hour? I don't know. It feels faster than that, dude. At least from a different perspective, it looks faster than that. But let's test out those guns. Here we go. Oh my goodness, dude. Imagine just flying through space and you're like, hmm, that asteroid looks very round. That's a little different. And wham, just starts laser beaming you. Oh my gosh, dude. That's crazy. Okay, before we go over to the asteroid vortex, I just want to test out this flying here. All right, well, it's extremely stable, so that's good. You know, we have the pitch down. I don't know if you guys can really tell because there's not really a distinctive nose and a distinctive tail. It's all just one big very similar cylindrical rounded i don't know what you'd call it but you know the shape is just hard to tell whether if there's a front or a back to simplify what i was trying to say but yeah flying into this planet here let's try and see how clear and smooth this landing can possibly be i'm not sure what the atmosphere or gravity is on here okay uh, 0 0.36 so it's pretty much like moon gravity so it won't really be all that hard um, flying around here I think that that's pretty standard when it comes to uh, you know the space but yeah anyways it feels like a little tiny fighter jet or like a you know a little speed pod kind of thing a lot better than a lot of my other spaceships to be honest with you but anyways now oh oh okay okay I didn't think that one through. But you know what? If we look around here, uh, it looks just like a regular rock that would be on a moon-like planet. So let's do a quick little stunt here as we are on our way to the dune planet. I did want to test out more of the gravity, but oh my goodness. This is so hard to tell like what direction uh, this thing is going in. But honestly, it's so small and tiny. I think this is going to be a piece of cake, dude. Look at this thing. Ooh. It's so fast. I'm very surprised how fast it is. Okay, let's not crash into our brothers over there. Uh, let's go ahead and drop down and let's test out this other gravity here. I want to do some stunts around the same time. I don't just want to you know, do some lame kind of, oh, we landed on sand, you know? I want to I want to dive bomb over here. I want to do some crazy tricks flying under some rock bridges. Oh boy, I don't know how fast the gravity is going to change on me. So I don't, ooh, very fast, very fast. Okay, wow, that completely started pulling my, my spaceship towards the ground. That was insane. Okay. Oh, we got to pull up. Got to pull up. You know, it's not that hard to fly though. It's just, it feels like there's a little bit more gravity. So this is sweet, dude. Look at how fast I can go. I know there's rings. Uh-oh. Oh, pull up. Oh my gosh. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude, we would have like exploded in real life if we hit that thing. Okay, well what I was saying was that I know that there's some rings somewhere on this planet, so I wanna try and do some crazy stunts before we go into the asteroid vortex. There they are, there's the rings, okay. Uh, again, it's very hard to tell exactly what direction this thing is aiming in. If it's perfectly straight or going a little left, I kinda just have to feel it out, but oh boy, this is a tight one. Drop, drop down, okay, okay, or not, just explode. All right, well, I see rings off in the distance over there. They look very cool and very cinematic to fly through, I feel like. But uh, I think they're more for cars. Um, but this spaceship is tiny, so we're going to try our best. Of course, this one is the smallest one starting off, so that's going to be extra hard. Okay, okay, very nice. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, we got to slow down like crazy. This is a very sharp turn. Oh, yeah. That was sick! Okay, little space pod here. Oh, we lost half our pod. We lost half our pod. Come on, we can turn. Oh no, we definitely can't turn. Oh, we're going straight into like barrels or something. I'm trying to... Okay. Whew. That slowed us down. That was good. You know, surprisingly, this whole entire thing, well, half entire thing, still works. It's actually pretty cool. I'm surprised... It still shoots and also flies uh, exactly the same. That's kind of odd. Anyways, more stunts. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, there we go. Pull up. 
Pull up. Oh yeah, this is easy. I don't know why it kind of feels better flying through this thing now. Maybe it's just a lot lighter. Maybe there's not as much mass pulling on us as we go through uh, different turns here. But wow, this thing is so maneuverable now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Absolutely not maneuverable um, once it's in millions of pieces. But now we need to take off and head... Oh, oh. What was that? Well, I clicked the wrong button, okay. But anyways, as I was saying, we are gonna go ahead and take off and head towards the, uh, what is that called? Not Whirlpool, Asteroid Vortex. There we go. We, uh, we have kind of a long journey ahead of us because we're here and it's all the way over here. So I will see you guys once, uh, I get a little bit closer. All right, boys. Well, as you can see, it is a family reunion, and boy, oh boy, does this asteroid blend in with the rest. This is so cool, bro. Now, this this is a real stealth ship, that's for sure. No, no glass is involved here. It's not just barely blending in. This is really blending in. I mean, seriously, you guys. Look at it off in the distance over there. I don't even know if you can tell which one it is, but uh, it is a little bit smaller than the rest. But my goodness, dude, it blends in so well. Okay, if you were in a normal spaceship and you just saw, you know, this, you would not think that there is a person in here with a bunch of guns. I mean, look at how crazy that is. Let's turn around. Let's aim this thing towards the camera. Look at how crazy this is. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. All right, well, now that we have done this really, really good test of showing how camouflaged this thing actually is, let's have some fun and see how close we can get to the extremely strong magnetic field down here. Now, clearly, it's strong enough for all these massive asteroids to keep their orbit at a steady pace, but for us being so small, I wonder what the gravity will actually do to this thing. Uh, let me make sure my nose is aimed away from it. There we go. Very nice. And then, oh, okay. Yeah, I already feel, I already feel it pulling me forward. Do you see that? Look at, I gotta gas it. I gotta gas it. Ooh, ooh, gas it, gas it. Oh my gosh, that is so strong. I don't think I've really messed with this thing before, but, ooh. Oh my gosh, that is so close! Jeez! Okay, okay, let's do a real test and let's see how strong uh, the strength of this thing really is. So here we go. I, I have no controls. I'm touching nothing. Oh! Oh, it's okay! It's fine! Look at us! Wait, can we can we pull away from it though? Alright, let's try and... let's try... Okay, yeah! Yeah, okay, if we face the butt towards the moon, then uh, we thrust, then we can get away. It's just strong enough to do it, too. This is so cool, man. This is awesome. It's almost like having, like, a rope tied onto it, because, like, I really don't have to turn all that much. It really just likes to hold on. That's so cool orbiting around this thing, man. I mean, clearly we're going, like, ten times faster than all the other ones, but this is just really fun to do. It also makes me, like, a little bit nauseous, so uh, I'm gonna just let go of that, but... Man, this is so cool, dude. I love this video idea. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm actually having like a very interesting uh, reaction to all of this because I didn't think that this was even going to work in the slightest. But yeah, I mean, imagine just looking at all these asteroids and being like, yeah, let's stay away from that planet because uh, I don't want to be sucked in. And then this little tiny pebble just starts racing towards you and your friends and boom, just starts laser beaming you guys down that would be terrifying well I hope you guys did enjoy today's video I know it was a little bit different but I do like doing these stealth kind of builds whether if it's made out of glass or of course painted correctly to the environment um, but yeah if you guys have any other cool ideas like this one make sure to leave a comment down below or leave that comment in the discord because man you guys are blowing my discord up like crazy so anyways Thank you guys so much, and as always, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and I will see you guys in the next one.